say that this is the easiest part of life as a students. But we see that uh, a lot of youngsters fall into the clutches of stress, depression, and to cope with that, they go into the ad addictions like alcohol, drug, porn, internet, etc. And they think that it will give them relief. I didn't know internet was along with the drugs. <laughs> so, how to deal with them? Look at me, I am always stoned. never been on a substance, but you must understand, whatever st stimulants, whatever stimulus you may take from outside, essentially human experience of all kinds is caused only from within. The question is only, are you on push start or are you on self start? Which is better technologically? Self start. So, if I teach you, suppose I teach you that you can simply sit here and be totally blissed out, more stoned than anybody on the campus. <laughs> At the same time, you're fully aware, would you go for it? Hmm? Would you go for it? Fully stoned, fully conscious, would you go for it? See, the only problem with your alcohol, drugs, everything is not a moral issue. It is a life issue because it destroys life. It's not a morality that this is good, this is bad, that's not the point. The point is it makes you incapable in so many ways. There was a, a certain Israeli scientist who was researching on marijuana or cannabis, over eighteen years, the U.S. Drug and Drug Administration gave him large quantities of marijuana and he went on experimenting and eighteen years' time he came up with really nothing significant. And uh, during mid-eighties, when American agencies were fighting drug on the street, they changed their policy of fighting the suppliers in Mexico and South America, they decided to fight on the street with the users. So they said, uh, somebody said, this is not right, you're giving this man such a big stock, we don't know what he's doing because he's not produced anything, eighteen years of research. Then he moved to Israel. The Israeli government looked at his work and they decided to give him big stocks of marijuana. And after another three and a half, four years, he came up with this. He found that in the human brain, there are millions of cannabis receptors. Then he threw this question to various disciplines. Anthropologists try to look at it and say, at some time in history maybe every human being was smoking, that's why there are receptors. Then they said, this is rubbish because in many parts of the world it was not there. Even an Eskimo has cannabis receptors where he has never seen anything like this. Then various things happened and the neurologists came up with this. They said, always the human brain is waiting for the cannabis, that which causes intoxication. Not waiting for it from outside, it can generate from within, that is why there are receptors. So, this is something that we have always known. I can show you. I'm there always, but <laughs> you look at my eyes, I'm always stoned. But as aware as anybody can be, if you do not know intoxication in life, you will never know a sense of abandon. If you don't have a sense of abandon, you will never walk full stride in your life. You will only walk half steps all the time. Only when there is no fear of suffering because you're highly intoxicated and fully aware, not because you consume substances which will take away your awareness, simply because you're keeping the system, the human mechanism at its highest function. Now it is fully self-sufficient, blissed out all the time. Now you will not think of all these things. <laughs>